Hey guys, Joshua Stern with Keller Williams Real Estate, um, here to keep you educated about all things real estate, especially during these changing times. Our focus is really helping you guys to make good decisions when it comes to buying, selling, or investing in real estate. Today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what happens to real estate values during a recession. And by the way, it's quite surprising. So first thing I want to do is define exactly what a recession is. Simply put, a recession is a time in which the economy stops growing. Recessions are normal and they're inevitable. They can make home buyers or sellers understandably weary. The job market becomes less stable, lending standards can tighten, and overall consumer confidence changes. Well, what goes up must come down, right? Or is that in fact the case? We've been on a terror of a run since 2011 in terms of Utah housing increases across the board, and it has to slow down sometimes, perhaps even take a dip. We know that COVID-19 will cause a recession at this point. We don't know how long it's going to last or how deep, but we know that when more than 40 million Americans are out of work, a recession will follow. So how will that affect the housing market? No, I can't predict the future, but I can analyze the past. We've had six other recessions since 1973. Five out of six of those recessions, housing prices surprisingly went up. It was only the 2008 Great Recession where the real estate bubble had popped, where the values had gone down. Of course, this was driven by easy money, uh, fog a mirror, get a loan mortgage type of folks, uh, many of whom were speculating on appreciation and quick sales. And what it did is it created an unrealistic demand for housing by individuals and investors who couldn't make and many times had actually no plans of making those mortgage payments on those homes that they purchased. So today, money is not as easy to come by. Lending standards measured by the Mortgage Credit Availability Index were extremely high from 2004 to 2007. Stated income, stated asset loans, they were normal. 80-20 uh, loans, 100% financing, everybody could get it. Rarely did anyone have to actually document the ability to repay the loans they were committing to. The lending standards today remain far below the normal standard. So as a result, foreclosures are currently near record lows and 59% of homeowners in, in America, they have equity in their homes. That didn't happen during the Great Recession. Now you have to fully document income and assets to go along with tighter credit standards in order to get approved for a mortgage. That's a good thing. This means the real estate market is on a much stronger footing, which will serve it well in any future recessions. So now is still a good time to buy or to build a house in most markets or renovate an existing home. And it is most certainly an opportune time to sell if you're looking to maximize your equity as inventory levels across the Wasatch Front are at record lows. If you're curious about how this affects your home value, give us a call, shoot us an email. We're happy to provide that information to you. No strings attached, no obligation.